right? This is a, an, a very optional video. This is not for, for any quizzes or exams or anything like that. This is because there was a question about your quiz number one that I think is a very good question. So I'm trying to open it here and I want to show you because if I send you an email answering that question, then it might not be clear enough. So I'm trying to open it here and then I can show you the question and something I did in Excel. So you can take a look at that. So the question is about this problem over here where it asked if the process from one to two is necessarily a constant temperature process. Here we have an ideal gas and we have, we have this curve, all right, that's moving in this direction. So it looks a lot like PV constant. And we know that if we have PV constant for a closed system containing an ideal gas, it's going to be temperature being constant as well because well, PV is equal to MRT, mass is going to be constant, and R is the gas constant. Now, for this process from one to two, this diagram that I'm showing you here, I got it from the auto cycle, and the auto cycle from one to two is adiabatic, and it's reversible. Adiabatic, you know what that is, reversible, we don't know yet. So it tends, uh, sorry, it ends up being isentropic. And then for an isentropic process where S is constant, which we haven't talked about yet either, we have a relationship between pressure and volume using the uh, specific heat ratio, which is equal to 1.4. So we'll, we'll learn that later. And from one to two, we don't have constant temperature in that particular cycle. We actually have an increase in temperature. However, you look at it and it looks a lot like the curve that we have for PV constant. So what I have over here in my Excel sheet, and there's a lot going on. So let's take a look at, you know, one thing at a time. I picked some pressure values going from 100 kilopascals to 1000 kilopascals, all right? I could have chosen, you know, volume values and get the pressure values for that, but I picked, in this case, pressure values. And then over here, I have for the first case, all right, let's say that I have pressure times volume being constant. I want to see what that looks like. And I pick 0.1 and I don't have units. So this is not, you know, the best plot. I just want to show you the shape of this. All right. Here, if I want pressure times volume to be constant for this entire process equal to 10 units. All right. I need to have these values of volume such that when I multiply pressure times volume, I get a constant value throughout. Now I decided to plot a case where I have you know, isentropic, like I said, it's just another case. Let's say that for now. And I'm going to call that case number two. Now here I have pressure times volume, all right, to the power of 1.4, as we'll learn later, equal to a constant. So I have, I, I picked, you know, the first volume being the same. I'm not sure why it doesn't show here. What's going on here? Which, which one is this one? Oh, I guess they're both there. Because I have 0 0.1 and 100. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, yeah, so I picked um, the, same, the same volume to begin with, but I decided to have a different behavior. Pressure times volume to the power of 1.4, which is not some random case, that's a real case we'll see later, equal to constant. All right, so it's this over, sorry, this one over here with this corresponding pressure and that's going to be constant. And then I want to show you both of them on a PV diagram. This one, all right, the one that's orange or light orange, I don't know. Notice how it's a curve like what we drew on the iPad, all right? But then notice how the second one looks very similar, all right? It looks similar, but it's not the same, right? For this case, for this dark orange over here, we have constant temperature. For this case over here, we're going to have Q equal to zero and temperature increasing, all right? And just, I was gonna cover it with my hand, but just 
you know, if I don't include this one, you just see this one over here. That's not enough information for me to realize that that is PV constant. I could have a bunch of different shapes over there, right? So that's an excellent question and it gives me the opportunity to do something nerdy, which is showing you a bunch of different curves, right? Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves.